I'm Dr. Zandra Palma, and in this series, I'm teaching you to think like me. And today we're going to apply subdiagnostic analysis, my process, to understand why autoimmune diseases flare. The course of most autoimmune diseases is like a wave pattern. There are periods of relative calm interrupted by flares, these periods where symptoms suddenly kick up and spiral out of control. For this reason, I make sure that all of my autoimmune patients have a flare plan, strategies and supplements to start as soon as they feel a flare coming on so that they can hopefully abort that flare. The first thing on everybody's flare plan is sleep. This is critical. The second thing on the flare plan is analyze the trigger. If they can figure out what triggered the flare, it'll be much easier to unwind it. These are the most common triggers I ask my patients to consider when thinking about what brought on their flare. Gluten, stress or trauma, viruses, poor sleep, chemical exposures, including biotoxins, and other food-related triggers. Let's talk more about this. Here are the most common food-related triggers that are not gluten. First, increase salt intake. This is mediated through direct stimulation of Th17 cells. The second is blood sugar spikes and troughs, just dysregulated blood sugar. And the third thing is food coloring. There go cupcake sprinkles. Some really smart scientists figured out that since potassium opposes salt in the kidneys, you can mitigate the autoimmune stimulating effects of increasing your salt intake suddenly by taking potassium the same day. The third thing on all my patients' flare plans is fasting or food elimination. This can look different for everyone. For some people, it might be a 24 hour or longer fast. Some people might go back to an AIP diet for several weeks, but at the very least, you need to get rid of the biggest autoimmune triggers, wheat and dairy, and they should have already been out of there. The last thing in my flare plan is supplements, and it's complicated, so I'm gonna tell you my goals. First, I wanna diminish inflammation by suppressing NF-kappa-beta, by increasing antioxidant reserves and by supporting resolution pathways. I also wanna focus on barrier recovery. So that's fixing leaky gut, that's fixing leaky blood brain barrier, leaky nasopharynx and leaky lung barriers. And then thirdly, I want to modulate nitric oxide monomers. And okay, that was too much science. At this point, this is kind of for your doctors, so show it to them and follow for more intel. I promise I'll be more gentle next time.